and welcome back to another Mugen Masterclass. Today our lesson is going to be on life add and life set. These are the only two S controls for the L letter, so I'm going to do them not in alphabetical order. Um, so first, life add. It adds a specific specified amount of um, life to the player, scaled by the player's uh, multiplier if necessary. So using our handy dandy light punch attack state, we are going to life add, when I could find the letter L, to the player. So my trigger is not time. How much life do I want to add? By default, players have 1000 life. All of them should, unless you're crazy and have it up to something else. Um, <clears throat> I want him to gain 50 life. And will it kill? No, it can't kill, so this line is irrelevant. An absolute meaning is it always 50? And yes, it went always 50. Does it make a difference here? No, this does not make these two do not make a difference here, along with these two. So when I do my light punch, I will gain 50 health. First, I will put Kung Fu Man on the brink of death, and every time I light punch, I gain 50 health. I can also use a negative value. Every time I light punch, I'm gonna die. I took too much life, I died. Now if I don't wanna die, I'll put kill equals zero. With kill equals zero, I would lose life, but I would not die. Now why is this a thing? This is a thing because if you put the enemy in a custom state, you have control of their life. You can take away life and not have it kill them, or you could take away life and have it kill them. It's up to you. And again, absolute, it means you're absolutely getting this value. If it's set to one, it's always going to be this value, whatever this value is. If it's not set to one, if it's set to zero, then this value will be multiplied by the defense multiplier if it has to see if one if absolute flag is one then exactly amount add amount which is the value add to the player's life the defense multiplier is ignored so that's life add simple next we go to life set every time I do the light punch uh, with my not time trigger I'm gonna set my life to 500 so no matter what happens every time I do a light punch I'm going to 500 boom now say I get beat up and stuff and I do my light punch I'm going back to 500 so life set will constantly set your life to whatever value you put with whatever trigger you put wherever you put this that's how life set works these two are very simple and easy to you know explain and everything so that's all it is now <clears throat> an advanced thing which I'm going to show you which is kind of cool is if you wanted to do a regen or re regen regeneration I don't know I always thought it was regen it could be regen um, what we're gonna do is using variables and this is kind of difficult but that's why it's it's here to make this video longer but also to explain at the same time so now, when I, uh, I do my light punch, right, I'm going to set uh, a var set to, actually no, I'm not doing a light punch, I'll do it in my taunt. When I do my taunt, I'm going to set variable 10 to, let's go with 1000, 1000, right? So now, going down to my negative three state, my variable, I'll use life and I'll use variable 10, right? This is used to keep track of what my numbers look like so I can see them and show them. Just for sake of showing you how this works, right there my life is a thousand, my variable 10 is zero. So now if I do this, my variable 10 is 1000, like I said it, so everything works fine. I'm going to use a var add, and the var add is going to trigger 
when variable 10 is greater than 0. So once I do my taunt, variable 10 is 1000. And then this var add is going to trigger. And now I'm going to lose 1 uh, from that 1000 every tick. So I'm going to show you. So variable 10 is 0. And when I do my taunt, it sets it to 1000 and now it's going down per tick. These are ticks passing by in game. Okay, so now I have a, a counter per se, right? I have a meter. You can't see it because I'm not visualizing it, but you have a, a functioning uh, gauge. So now what I would do is in the negative three, I would use a life add code. Eh, I can't find it. Mm, life add code. The trigger is going to be the same. A variable 10. <clears throat> greater than zero and the value is going to be one I'm not trying to kill myself I'm trying to regen and this is going to be absolute so I'll constantly get this value now of course this is like super broken the way it is so I put myself on the brink of death once I hit taunt I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to add up variable 10 to 1000 and this is going to keep it going down and this is going to keep my life going up. So I'm going to heal fully. Notice the var 10 is going down really fast over here. Notice the life is going up over here. Once it hits zero, it should stop, I hope. Okay. So this hit zero and this hit a thousand. You can also view here my life one thousand. So now if I'm hit, I can still take damage like normal. And you can actually see the values changing over here. I did notice that the first time around. And that's how you would do a Regan. Now um, I I'm not sure if you can use decimals for this, like half. Let's see, it might crash. Yeah, it crashed. It needs it needs a, a float value. Uh, or rather, it needs a solid number, a whole number. Now, this trigger, it activates every tick. Let's say I don't want it to activate every tick. I'm going to use something that I like to use. Uh, you put two ands. So this is and time percent. Uh, let's go with 10 equals 0. What this code does is, basically, every 10 ticks, starting at 0 ticks, it's going to do the life add. So it'll be 0, 10, 20, 30, right? In tick form. It's going to add 1. Now, instead of gaining the full health bar, I'm going to gain much less. You can see here how it's affecting it. <clears throat> There you go. I gained 100 health back in the span of how many, how many time, how much time is this? Um, 16 seconds. So you can limit it like that if you want to, you know, decide how much, how fast, or however you want your regen to work. You know, you can set the values however you like. That's the basis of it. Now, would you have it activate in this taunt state normally? No, you would have it activate and by super or by, um, you know, a different transformation form or something like something like that. But that's pretty much how I would use life add if I wanted to do a regen code. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching.